Hey, it's Hawking with Top Don. Today we're going to do a tech tip or TSB of sorts for any users who have the Phoenix Smart or the Phoenix Max. This tech tip is for you. So, newer vehicles are now using a technology called DOIP or Diagnosis over Internet Protocol. Now, what does that mean to you? Basically, it means that your MDCI, which is for lack of a better term, the dongle for your Phoenix Smart or Phoenix Max must be connected to the vehicle via USB cable. However, before you can achieve optimal DOIP functionality, the MDCI must be updated via the internet, which of course it has a Wi-Fi chip in it, so we can use Wi-Fi, or we can plug Ethernet into the tool directly and a power supply. So we're gonna take you through that update process real quick in this video. Again, to update our MDCI or dongle, the best way to do this is to connect a power supply and ethernet cable. That's going to be your fastest way to update this. Otherwise, we can also connect it to Wi-Fi. So if we click the little gear in the top right corner and we click WLAN, and then we enter in our network information here, the tool can connect to the internet. So I'll pause while I enter in the information, and then we'll show you what the update looks like. Assuming I got the password right, the tool is now going to connect to the Wi-Fi. So now you see it's going to check for a new version of software or firmware. So if it fails, we'll give it another chance. Sometimes it's going to make a couple of attempts to do the update. So again, we want to go ahead and let it do as many upgrades as it will carry out consecutively. And once it has completed all of the necessary updates, we want to let it reboot or power cycle one more time. So once it stops updating, we can unplug the power supply cable right here and then power it back up and make sure everything is working correctly. And again, we want to let it go through and update as many times as it's able connected to Wi-Fi as sometimes there are sequential updates. Once that is complete, it's ready to use, again, with your Phoenix Smart or your Phoenix Max, and DOIP functionality will be optimized and work exactly as you are wishing. Again, keep in mind, you will want to use a USB cable from the dongle to the tablet during any DOIP diagnosis. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'm Hawkin with Top Don, and we'll see you on the next video.